Kieran, I'm sure you saw this week that Teddy McCarthy, former Jewel star for Cork, you know, double winner in 1990, that he passed away. Is he a person that you would have been familiar with both on and off the pitch or would you have known him at all? Yeah, we would have crossed swords a few times in the early days at the latter end of his career, yeah. And uh, obviously, I was alive and well for 1990. That, that achievement, you know, to win two to All-Ireland medals in the one year with both codes, you know, first time it has been done and hasn't been done since. And I'd imagine it's a feat that'll never be uh, what's the word that'll never be done again so I'd like to send commiseration to his wife and his family and terrible loss you know a sudden death like that that, that when it happens the family you know it, it, it's just unexpected and you know there's a lot of people down there that are in, in shock I was talking to two fellas during the week there was a fellow from Cork that phoned me and uh, he was in shock he knew Teddy well he was from Glenmire and uh, you know grief Shane grief is a different animal you know so you know, as I said, you know, I'm, I was shocked myself when I heard it because, you know, my brother is playing over 40s with us in the football and he's the same age as Teddy. So, you know, I, I suppose the, the big one there is, I suppose, Shane, really, is to enjoy the, every moment that we're here and make the most of it because no one knows what tomorrow's going to bring. So, yeah, it was tough, yeah. And, you know, back then, I, I suppose, if you, if you were ever going to have a chance to play football in Hurling, you know, went to a knockout, Whereas if you lost in the hurling, you were gone for the year. And if you lost in the football, you were gone for the year. And I suppose he had that advantage. But I suppose, you know, the year he won the Boat All Ireland, there was no knockout. So it was a huge achievement. And not only did he win, not only did he win two All Irelands, but played extremely consistent in both codes the same year. Mm-hmm. So he'd been off a lot. And everyone loves the high ball. He was like unbelievable at catching a high ball with his hurler, hurling our football here. Without a doubt. And like Teddy, to be fair, Teddy was just about 5'11". It wasn't that he was a tall man, but he was kind of, you know, he was naturally built like a block. And he had this, he had this kind of gazelle kind of a jump last minute. And I suppose the reason he looked actually that he was getting up extremely high, he was exceptional at time in his jump. He wasn't gone up, gone up before the ball or after the ball. So he timed it to perfection. And nine times out of ten, when he went up, whether it was for a slitter or a football, he came down with the ball. Yeah, he, he would have terrorised us, Ryan, uh, when we were young tip supporters uh, growing up, late 80s, early 90s. But, uh, geez, he was, a, he was a great player to watch. Yeah, and like that, a complete athlete that got around the pitch. You know, like, you'd love to see someone like, you'd love to transport him to the modern day to see how he'd adjust to it. Uh, a lot of greats, you'd say they wouldn't be able to adjust to the modern type of hurling with short pass and movement, everything like that. But I, I certainly think he would be. Um, I think he, he'd he'd appreciate modern hurling more so than modern football. Uh, I don't think he'd like the, the slow build-up play. I think just the way he played, I think he'd like intensity, give, go. Um, but yeah, look, it, it's, it's a massive loss, massive, massive shock to the GA world, the GA community and, and Cork GA. Um, like he, I was he vice chairman of his club. Um, yeah, ma- massive loss ma- and massive character as well. Um, like it's only, it's only when he's died ha- after he died that all these stories come out and all these videos. I saw one of them there yesterday with uh, Marty Morrissey. So it must have been uh, filmed during COVID, but he was wearing shorts and just the the Joker came out of him. Um, so yeah, ma- massive loss. Uh, and the thing about it, the, like I said, these stories come out when uh, after someone passes. You'd love to tell these stories when that person's alive, and when when they when they can listen to what people think of them and how people appreciate them. So yeah, look, massive loss to the GA world, and he will be he will be sorely lost.